it's October 15th and I'm like what do I do so next week is my birthday I like you know it's it's bittersweet it's my first birthday away from home and I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do I mean I've already done so much in Korea and just celebrating every day and just enjoying every day so I'm like I don't really know what to do I mean I say yo go treat yourself but I've been I've been doing that the whole time since I've been in Korea so it's like Emily you need to be calming down because I, I, I need my first month in Korea I wouldn't really be concerned about saving money because I I saved money before I came to Korea so I was like yeah, I'm gonna enjoy it I'm gonna enjoy the food uh, cafes uh, hanging out with people so right now I'm just like hmm okay and I wanted to go to a cafe and get a Kuga Kuga Latte Kuga Latte Kagu Latte Kagu Latte It's a sweet potato latte So there I love opera and I love classical music and there is this girl named Julia coming in December 3rd so I really want the ticket, but my ARC number, which I don't have yet. So, so I wrote it down. That's the first thing I'm going to do when I get my ARC is book a ticket. Many unique cafes, not just Seoul, but Korea in general has like thousands of cafes. Here's what I found. Okay. Seoul. Seoul has 18,000 coffee shops alone. Dog cafes, 2D cafe, galaxy cafe, underground cafe behind a fridge. They've got a telephone cafe thing. They got, my goodness. So I'm gonna choose one cafe to go to today. And I'm just gonna, walk around. I'm going to put my tennis shoes on and I'm just going to go. I'm going to go. Oh, I don't take it. I ride to join a lane. Don't you bomb and so good. Oh, God, I'll tell you. Just a mojin, papa. Kiss or lay in back on a side. She got my jean. I got a shin. Hello! So, I just got home from my little adventure around Seoul. I bought some flowers for myself. They're really beautiful. This, so I got, I found a store that was dedicated to this brand, which I love this brand so much. And I got some film for my film camera. I got some pizza and chicken wings. I've never tried Korean pizza, so this is the first time. I wanted to share a story. When I was in Hongdae this evening, I was, when I was taking a video of a flower store, all of a sudden this, this young man, like, is Korean guy, like, s stands next to me and said, oh, do you speak English? And then he started like asking me these questions. And then he asked me my name. I gave him a fake name. And he's like, oh, I'm from Australia. And he goes, oh, I I'm an English teacher as well. Kind of like, you know, bowed a little bit. 
and like, okay, bye, you know, but he had like a pouch and he looked suspicious. So I was like, I heard about these Hongdae boys. I heard about, you know, people coming up to you and be like, oh, do you speak English? And, oh, come to this tea ceremony. And then it's like, oh, you owe me $5,000, you know. So just like a whole thing. So I just ran away as fast as I could. Gave him a fake name. Didn't give him much information. Cold shoulder. I was, I was very proud of myself. And yeah. I'm gonna end it here, and yeah. Okay, bye! I'm just happy that a free coffee happens to fall on my birthday. Exciting! It's the little things.
hello it is me emily um i just want to say i was so grateful for my birthday i it was my first birthday away from home so i was expecting to be like kind of sad but it started off good and ended great like my day was felt i felt so special and so loved and i throughout the week i just i don't know i and i'm just so grateful um to be in korea and experience new things and yeah so i'm happy i turned 27 in korea what a adventure so thank you all for made it special thank you Thank you. I'm on my way to, uh, where did she live again? Korea. Korea. And happy birthday.